Okay, good morning guys. Uh, good morning from Bucharest. It's like 4.30 morning and I'm leaving Bucharest. And actually leaving Bucharest like for good or at least like for some really really long time. As this year I was kind of living here like half or half of the year because of work but that, um, that ended. And I'm finally like returning to Czech Republic. But first I'm going to visit my girlfriend in Cyprus. I'm flying to Paphos in about like two and a half to so, uh, two and a half three hours, something like that. So I'm just off to the airport, and then I'm show you today. I'm gonna be in Limassol. I'm gonna meet a couple of my friends, and then in the evening I'll meet my girlfriend, and then I'm staying till Wednesday here. So uh, it's gonna be nice, and uh, I'll show you some nice places inside. So I made it uh, at the airport at Otopen. It's actually super busy. It's like 5.30 a.m. But oh my god, it's actually more flights than I'm used to. Flew here from like a couple times already since I was here for a while. But oh my god, it's busy. So many flights. There's like 20, 30 flights leaving right now. So that's actually, <laughs> there's, that's actually, that's actually a lot. Uh, but uh, so also I was I'm glad that I always have a passport. I don't know if you're a European citizen, always travel with your passport. Uh, never travel without a passport because there was a, a line for immigration because it's Romania, it's EU, but not Schengen. And it looked like 20, 30 minutes. I went to those automatic gates. It took me like uh, roughly two minutes to pass that. So I was, <laughs> that was pretty cool. So yeah, so I have like an hour probably before boarding. So maybe gonna have some breakfast and uh, then I'm gonna board it. So yeah guys, so it's uh, 6 a.m. So waiting for my flight to have like on one hour. I don't know, tell me, write me in the comments if you like the early morning flights or like uh, when you do like fly the most, like in the middle of the day or in the evening. Uh, so let me know. <coughs> Otherwise, uh, this place at Otopen it's kind of strange airport because uh, there are some like new parts, some old parts of the airport. Uh, this one is uh, this one is new. Then like okay, okay. Like this is the new part, and this is just uh, one of the bars, Peroni, there with the sponsored by the Italian beer. It's not. It's actually it's actually pretty nice. It's in that new part. Um, the other the other places are in that old part, so I don't want to sit there. So I always come here unless I go uh, unless I have like a lounge access but today uh, I think the lounge might be actually even close but today I'm not flying with the Star Alliance or I do have the or I do have the status so I can go to the lounges today I'm flying with Ryanair because there was not think really other options uh, to fly maybe I think the Romanian the blue air but I don't like to fly with them they cancel my flight once like cancel me out of the flight and they have super old plane like 30 35 year old plane and I kind of don't like that so uh, so I'm rather sticking with Ryanair to this one or I sometimes fly with Aegean just to the uh, to Athens but <coughs> yeah okay, so yeah so still like let's say 20 15 20 minutes before I go to the gate and then hopefully no delay so in around nine, in around two hours, three hours, I should be in Cyprus. So I'm really looking forward. So it got kind of cold in Romania already. And it's in the morning, it's only like eight degrees, 10 degrees. So it's cold. So I'm looking forward to have some like warm weather, uh, at least for for the next like a week and then I'll come back there again. But I'm not looking forward to the winter, really, I'm not.
I don't think they even have a buses here. The terminal is here. I'll show you. Yeah, you can see that we go to the terminal. But yeah, but if you were like going to the Bacchus area, I'll definitely fly here. Uh, not 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 to Larnaca because it's quite far, uh, quite far to fly them to Ayana, uh, Larnaca. So it's not it's not bad, it's not great, but it's it's okay for your summer destination. And uh, now I'm gonna rent a car. Go pick up my car because without a car it's actually you should have a car unless you go really to like one place you should have a car. Okay, so I went to the car. I have uh, have a golf so now I'm gonna go uh, to the Masol to visit a couple of my friends and I'll show you the town uh, in Paphos I'm gonna show you like it within two weeks I'm not gonna stay in Paphos right now I'm gonna show you so, uh, at some uh, at some other date but I'm gonna show you some in the Masol I'm gonna show you the marina and like some nice places there and after that in the afternoon I'm going to Ayanapa so I'll uh, Maybe from there, from there, I'll show, I'll make some video tomorrow. Uh, I'll definitely show you Nisi Beach and some other uh, places. Uh, but like I said, if you go to Cyprus, you really should think about uh, renting a car, unless you maybe go with a travel agency and you di go directly to the hotel. Think about maybe getting a car because taxis here are actually pretty expensive, and the public transport is not really working. So it's definitely a good idea. So to have a car you can go pretty much then anywhere uh, just one thing they drive on the left here so maybe if you're not 100% comfortable with it maybe at least get it automatic you don't maybe get a manual car because in the beginning like sure it might feel a little bit a little bit weird but otherwise you get used to it pretty quickly <coughs> yeah so I actually decided uh, if I'm, since I'm going to Limassol I'm gonna make a quick pit stop to show you a really nice beach, it's uh, between Paphos and Limassol. It's uh, called the Pissori Bay, and it's kind of uh, kind of like a beach if you don't want to have it full of tourists or something like that. It's more secure, uh, and uh, so it's really it's really good. It's really nice. It's not for like maybe families with children because uh, the water is kind of steep there. So it's you need you need to know how to swim, like better swimmer. Let's say you should always know how to swim. But uh, uh, so for that, I'm gonna I'm gonna check it. Uh, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna show you uh, this nice uh, this nice bay. Okay, guys. So like I said, uh, I'm gonna stop. Uh, I stopped at uh, the Pissori Bay. Uh, it's uh, kind of like ten, uh, like sorry, like 20, 20, 25 minutes away from Limassol by car. Uh, and it's kind of like secluded beach. It's really not touristy like all the other beaches. I think there is like only one resort. I'll show you. I only want in the back. There is like one resort only, and that's that's kind of it. But the, but the beach itself is actually really really nice. But it's not so touristy. So, give me a second. I'll show you. From here you can see the beach. You can see I know it's like okay it's second of October. It's empty but I also been here in the middle of uh, uh, middle of July and it was also empty. I was here during the week not during the weekend but still it was kinda empty. There was a kind of only sun beds are there and there. Otherwise the entire place is almost like deserted. But, uh, like I said, it's a good, f you, need, you should be like a good swimmer uh, when you come here because you really like uh, you go two, three meters in the water and you cannot stand anymore, you have to swim. So, uh, that's, that's, an, uh, that's maybe an issue, that could be maybe an issue for some people. And okay, it's not like really like a sandy beach, sure. But uh, it's kind of secluded and it definitely has a charm there's like one two restaurants there but then there is a colombia hotel never stayed there don't know how it is it and then there are some water sports there you can see that you can see there are some yachts here so it's favorite place maybe not uh, only for the well, for those few people here but also people like to stop here so yeah 
if you don't want to go to some touristy place this could actually really uh, be something nice some nice options uh, you can look at but for sure for sure you can do something you can, you can go here and it's also, also like uh, so many uh, places in Cyprus it's a blue flag uh, beach so it's like really clean and everything so really nice just uh, maybe be careful like way back there uh, they usually go there they're usually people with like no swimsuits like naked one and then they might be surprised <laughs> Yeah, so like one two restaurant there. I've been to one restaurant. The food was fine. The food was fine. So definitely okay for lunch there, coffee or something like that, or maybe a drink. Okay, hey guys. So I made it to I made it to Limassol, and I'm gonna show you like just some areas. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be staying here for uh, too long. But this is actually my favorite uh, favorite area. It's like old marina. You can see the view of the Limassol and you have this amazing boardwalk uh, because I like part of the year I actually spent in Limassol I live here uh, I go for here like for runs a lot so I'm gonna show you the panorama yeah they're like the probably the, the best restaurants in Limassol in that area and we're gonna go there after this one and you're gonna see, you can see this boardwalk. It really like stretches out for like long, uh, long, uh, it's like two kilometers, but it is continuous. It just continues and continues. Just this part is like the biggest, but then it continues like way back. You could do like five, six kilometers, then it kind of like ends a bit. Uh, but it's a really nice, it's a really nice place for walk, really nice place for a run. And you can see today is uh, 2nd of October, today, but already I went to the water, it's still like 25, 26 degrees, so still, still pretty, pretty good. You can see some nice yachts here, especially, especially that one if you see in the back, that one is, that one is a really big one. And uh, you can see that there's the panorama changes a lot from, let's say, when I started coming here, uh, to like those those three buildings are like 160 and like 180, 190 meters tall. Those are only like apartment buildings. Those are only like for apartments, but they are ridiculously expensive. I think the cheapest apartment is like 1.3, 1.4 million euros, but they usually cost like 2 million to 2.5 million euros. That's for what most of the most of the apartment that it costs. So. Okay, so let's check let's check the rest of the uh, rest of the place. All right, so here we are getting into the marina, to the old fort. It's like two parts this is the first part I actually used to work for the company which is here now I work for the different Cypriot firm that one is actually located in Nicosia gonna be, we're gonna be on Wednesday but yeah here you have like some really nice restaurants really good steakhouse there pretty good not cheap here it's not cheap but it's definitely worth it like the view and the place is amazing I can take this catamaran right I've been there like three four times and like some lots of like bars and restaurants here so you definitely have things to do here well, like I said it's not cheap but it's not ridiculously expensive either so okay here we are reaching the uh, the second part of marina the better one let's see the big one where the most boats are and that and also the another 
Beer right there, I like a lot of, lot of restaurants. There are some shops here as well. And uh, you can live here. This is like a resident building, I'll show you from the other side. And yeah, it's, it's, it's also really, really expensive living there. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, you have a lot of places where you can buy yachts here, which makes sense. <laughs> and actually, like, actually, Limassol, even though it's like the largest city, it's the most expensive and the best city. So, yeah. Check it here. So, let's go. Let's go. Check the boat. So yeah, this is actually a residential area. Uh, you have, I know, you have the cafe Nero, you have the Vaga Mama there, like for good sushi, actually. So here, here is like actually more restaurants, and it's like more luxury. This place. We really like over here. You even have like some more expensive stores actually here as well. I showed you there was a couple of more expensive here so also reason and then there's one more part there you can have like some villas and on the other side there is actually like a beach there's like a private beach uh, so that could be also pretty good because that one is like a man-made beach and it's uh, it's really cool I've been there once but I don't have time today I don't have time to go today but yeah my favorite kind of also favorite part here you can see the, like up there that's the restaurant Pixida. I've been there a few times I feel like a seafood is really really good and you have this view like this view is amazing it doesn't it doesn't get old anyway it does never gets old at least for me I don't know how about you but it never really gets old yeah and you can see a lot of them are for sale so if you have I don't know at least half a million, one million euros. Go for it. <laughs> or subscribe so I can buy one. <laughs> so here is the big city, the restaurant. Really good one. I definitely can recommend it. And it's not like overpriced, it's like same level as the rest but the food is, the, the seafood is really good. Okay, so this was my favorite part from Limassol. Then there's like a whole town, but today I don't have that much time. Like when I will be here uh, again, if you will, I'll, I'll have like more, but today I still have to go to Ayanapa, have something in the evening, so I don't really have that much, uh, that much time. But I wanted to show you my favorite parts. So that's for it now and I'll check in later. All right, so I got to Ayanapa and this is gonna be my home for the next few days. One second. So I'm in the Vassos uh, Nisi Beach Resort. I'm oh, sorry, at the Vassos Anyway, Vassos at Nisi Beach, the Vassos Hotel, it's, it's pretty nice, I would say. I'm over there. Nice space, see. Bathroom. And let's check the view. Because that one, that one is the real deal, right? So yeah. I'm at the Nisi Beach. See here the swimming pool area. Right at the heart of it all. Okay, so like I said, I got to Ayanapa. I'm gonna have a few days vacation here. I'm staying, I'm staying till uh, till Wednesday. 
Uh, so I'm going to Jay, enjoy it again. It's not the first time this year I've been here. I've been here a couple of times. Because like I said, uh, my girlfriend's here. I'm going to see her tomorrow. So uh, I try to come often as I can, apparently. Uh, and of course, I love this. I love this place. And like the Nisi Beach, I think it's the for me it's like the let's say the best beach I think in Cyprus. But it's really busy. It's really busy. Uh, even like now, you can see that there are a lot of a lot of people there uh, at Nisi Beach. But uh, it's just simply amazing. And the water is, for example, even much warmer. I would say than in some other areas. Today I've been in Limassol. It's still fine. It's still fine. But it's really shallow here. It's like you, you can see that people are walking like way far. That's why it also has such an amazing, uh, amazing colors. Uh, uh, and uh, so of course, and it's like kind of big bay. Uh, so the water is really warm. It should have still around like 27 degrees, probably 26, 27 degrees, which for second of October in Europe is, I think, amazing. Okay, you can go like Dominican Republic and things like that sure like Maldives of course going better but in Europe in beginning of October you can still have pretty much like summer of course the sun is uh, sun is a little bit uh, earlier but if you for example compare it to Croatia or even like a lot of people places in Spain you're not gonna have such a warm water there like period like not at all like go there middle of July like beginning of August no you're not gonna have it here 30, around 30 degrees, like 29 to 31, something like that. The water has 26, 27 degrees. Come on, like it's it's amazing, it's amazing, and uh, it's maybe a little bit cheaper right now. Uh, but the season ends at the end of the month, at the end of the October. That's when the season ends. Then like kind of all the hotels just shut down. Nothing's really opening here in like Ayanapa. Of course, in uh, places like Lima Solcher, everything the places still stay open. Uh, even those that are like by the beach maybe not all of the hotels but a lot of them do because it's the city it's a city it's like uh, so a lot of people just come there for business because uh, it's let's say like a financial center of Cyprus and Cyprus is actually people wouldn't say it but in like a for forex trading it's actually like most important uh, place in Europe so it's actually kind of financial center as well I work in a forex business so I know that most of the companies uh, that are in Europe are now based in are based in Cyprus. Some of them are based in UK, but with the Brexit, a lot of them just got the secret license as well. So that's. Uh